Listen, guys, young guys who have fantasies about MILFs, I want to tell you something right now. You're not ready. I used to work at Dick's Last Resort on the river, okay? And um, I had a woman come to... <laughs> I wasn't planning on telling this story, but... <laughs> I had a woman come into Dick's. I was, I was um, bartending. And um, she comes in with her three friends, and it was like a Saturday afternoon. And we were just kind of all flirting a little bit, and then her two friends left, and she stayed. She mid-30s, probably. And so I'd only talk to, like, young women. And so um, she's sitting there, and I tried, like, uh, I was like, oh, your friends, uh, your friends left you alone? <laughs> she goes, no, I stayed. And I go, this was, this was right when I knew I was in trouble. I go, you stay by yourself. I'm trying to be, t you know, flex guy. <laughs> I go, you stay by yourself? I go, aren't you a little scared to be here by yourself? And she goes, no, but you should be. <laughs> you know, I had a little movement right when she said that. I'm like, bling! And she slid a piece of paper over. Nobody ever talked to me like this before. She slid a piece of paper over and she goes, write your address down, I'm picking you up tonight, we're going out. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> so I get home to my, get home to my a house and I'm living with two other dudes who are around 20, 21 years old. And um, my, I walk in, I'm super happy. And my buddy goes, why are you so happy? What are you doing? He goes, you got plans tonight? I go, yeah. He goes, what are you going to do? I go, I'm going to fuck a grown-up. <laughs> because at 21, you're mid-30s. You're a fucking grown-up. I was like, she probably does dishes and goes to the store and shit. I'm a fucking grown-up. And so I will tell you, it was the only time in my life, I didn't know what grown-ups wore on dates, and my college wardrobe was pretty limited. So I just, I, would, I, I must have changed clothes. Like, this is, is this what a grown-up was? <laughs> and so finally, she pulls into the driveway in a minivan. <laughs> and my buddy looks out the window and he goes, Hey, Wolf! Your mom's here. Dude, they told me I ran out of the house like I was going on a play date. Like, <laughs> I hop into her van, right? And um, I, I'm sitting in the front seat, and I've been practicing, like, I think, like, what grown-ups say to each other, you know? So I, I just sat there, and I, I put on my seatbelt. I go, so, um, do you want to go to dinner tonight? Want to go to dinner? And she goes, no, we're not going to dinner. So then I thought she was like one of those like cool hip moms. I was like, oh, so we going dancing? She was like, no, we're not going dancing. I go, what are you doing? She goes, well, we're not leaving the van. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. <laughs> she goes, you know where Breckenridge Park is? I go, yeah. She goes, we're gonna go fuck in the park. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> But I will tell you this, we're, we're dudes like 25 and under. Anybody in here 25 and under? Oh, ho, 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 yeah. <laughs> Listen, guys, young guys who have fantasies about MILFs, I want to tell you something right now. You're not ready. <laughs> You're not ready because every guy, I don't think women, I don't think you know, a man's ego in bed is so fragile. It's so, it's so much more fragile. You could, you all don't know the power you have. One that was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. That dude would never fuck another person in his life. But so you're not ready as a young person, you, as a young dude, you have confidence. You're not ready because a grown woman knows what she wants. You are not. <laughs> yeah, if there's a dude sitting next to that girl, you're doing something wrong, just so you know. She was like, yes. <laughs> but here's the deal. As a young man, because women in their 30s will say this to you. As a young man, you're not ready 
for someone who you're having sex with, who you think you're doing what, you're putting it down. You're not ready for someone to look at you and go, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing my, this is my move. No, it isn't, don't do that. Why are you doing that? That's terrible. You're not ready for that. So I'm in the, we're in the park. She pulls in. This actually is so funny. We pull into the parking lot and she looks at me and we park the car. She looks at me and she goes, help me put the car seats in the back. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we've got out of the car and we fucking put the car seats in the way back, right? There were Cheerios and Yoo-Hoo shit all over the fucking... So, we start to roll around, and I'm gonna tell you, I wasn't a really experienced dude. Um, even in college, especially that I still look, I'm not gonna lie to you, it took me to around 23, 24 to really get used to the fact that the vagina was so far back. <laughs> I remember even at like 20, I was bouncing around here, like what, why, what is the, like does that, do I need a code or something? Like, is it gonna pop open for me or, is there a password I need for this area? The dick is here, the vagina should be there. Nope, it's, I wasn't used to how close it was to the asshole. Like I was like, so, I guess she got tired of me messing around with the mound area for as long as I did. And she just slapped my hand. She goes, here's what I want you to do. She goes, I want you to lay down on the ground. I had ch fucking Cheerios stuck to my back and shit. And she gets on top of me and I go to grab her hips and she goes, and don't touch me. I said, what do you want me to do? She said, and don't talk either. She just said to me, she looked me dead in the eye and she goes, all you have to do is not fuck this up for me. <laughs> and then I felt like a scratching post of some kind. <laughs> like I, <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had rug burn. This is back when people had rugs, you know. <laughs> this is... <laughs> But it was like, I was like, I'm irritated on the belly area. Yo, she rode, the, it was like, a, she did the full eight seconds, dude, fucking woo! And her dismount was like, it was a like an Olympic gymnast. And then, but I just, it was the first time in my life, like, so many things happened, like, she, she laughed, she slapped me, she cried, like, I was like, what's happening? right now I had no idea it's the first time I had ever been fucked you know dude I, I if she hopped off me I was just like what do I at least get an orange slice and a Capri Sun or 